Um, welcome back. Uh, hopefully everybody can see my screen. With the global citizenship, we've already gone through all of week one. We've talked about identifying uh, your personality traits. Hopefully everybody does have strong uh, student curiosity traits. But uh, in addition to that, you should be able to go through, identify what are your goals and introduce yourself as a person that is on the route or on the path to obtain your goals and use our class to develop yourself, to develop your specialization and to develop your goals, becoming a global citizen. So we've already talked about the idea of the uh, light on you, the light on others. We should be listening to others. We should be identifying what other people are doing. When people present themselves, especially for the research project, I would like everybody to give three sentences in the uh, Zoom chat that they could possibly change. So if they're talking about pink elephants, you might want to talk about how the pink elephant needs to have a different wig or something. Make uh, any suggestions to change the presentation. And then we're going to go around and everybody's going to be talking about how we can develop overall as a group. We talked about the course outline um, and the first week uh, finished with this chart, which is showing your MBTI. Some of you may not recall what the MBTI is. This was presented in class requirements. It's basically identifying how your personality matches you and how it may match a career for, uh, for you. So if we go into it and we identify in here, this is one uh, slide that is showing the humanmetrics.com, again, www.humanmetrics.com will identify uh, one of 16 different personalities and characteristics which describe you. It also matches you to other uh, jobs and other people and learning styles and communication styles. So it's really good to, to have this to identify you to be a global citizen. This was developed by a guy named Carl Jung back at the same time and researching the same time as Sigmund Freud. Um, and each year that goes by, his research is proving to be more and more important because if you are doing something that doesn't match who you are, it shows that you're not as successful with that job. So try to make sure the job you're going to be doing matches you. And Try to identify how your learning style or your communication style matches you, and it will be different than many other people. You need to make modifications to match these other people. www.16personalities.com does the same type of thing. So if you go through those, they identify uh, about 30 different uh, quiz type questions, talking about are you a uh, always late for meetings or early for meetings? Do you like to be doing things fast or slow? Uh, go through, answer these questions, and that will identify you. Back to the uh, week two is what we should be focusing on now. Week two is talking about self-identity and formation education. So we're going to find answers to who you are with this MBTI personality test that I talked about. We're going to be trying to understand your goals and dreams. We're going to help you identify your 10 year or 20 year plan for your future. And obviously this whole class, all 16 weeks of school should be focused on helping you become a specialist to compete internationally, globally. So the simplest and easiest way to identify you is to go through a simple page, a blank piece of paper, and do what I call a mind map. Write down characteristics that describe you, and uh, it's best if you also identify a, a few characteristics that you don't like, and uh, then flip that sheet over, and that sheet will um, identify some, some type of career. 
You can just show these characteristics to a friend, ask your friend, what type of job does this look like? And your friend can guess what it might match. That's the simplest form. As I said earlier, this is the humanmetrics.com. This develops a much more detailed identification of your personality, your character, which careers match you, which uh, type of people match you for dating, for marriage, which type of uh, communication and um, learning styles match you and how you need to adapt to interact with other people. And as it shows here on this slide, this slide shows that there are 16 different types of personalities and, and characteristics for people. The, for example, ISFJ is the examiner, and I am actually the INTJ, which it says is the strategist. Uh, it says that it's introverted, it's intuitive, it's thinking, it's judging. It, that pretty much describes me. I am quite introverted, even though I do talk a lot in class, I am uh, introvert. So find out which type of character you are to start with, and then try to go beyond it and identify what type of career matches you, which this will help you do. And as you start doing that, the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn about other people, the better you're going to be a global citizen and the better you're going to be able to obtain your dreams and goals and success with whatever it is. So uh, do it now, <laughs> do it as much as you can. Uh, eventually, if you get 10,000 hours of practicing your specialization or your area of expertise, almost anybody that gets these 10,000 hours is pretty much guaranteed to be successful. Bill Gates, Mozart, Steve Jobs, the Beatles, the singing group, almost all of them prove that they were terrible when they started, but by the time they got close to 10,000 hours, they were very well respected. And by the time they got 10,000 hours, they were internationally famous. So start developing that stuff now so that you don't need to just wait in line to get a job with other people. Try to make sure that you use your activities to interact with companies in class so that you can start developing uh, better relationships and um, get better jobs or, or be better aware of things. The more you are connected with other people around you, the more you're connected as a global citizen, the easier success is going to be. So uh, ultimately, as we review the first week, we have the idea that students have to develop your project, your class project. I highly encourage you to use your class project to interact with a company you want to work with and then develop your class project a little bit beyond class into a, a written paper. We can help you publish that. And then if you publish that, that can go on your resume and you could also uh, get a, a grant. Big companies might be able to pay you to do that things. So for activity two, uh, we are going to be talking about getting into groups to talk about who you are, your personality type, your dream, your goals, your 10-year plan, and how you can get there. Of course, start with the most basic, hello, my name is. Um, so when you go through and introduce yourselves, before I put you in the breakout rooms, make sure you identify that this is week three that we're talking about now. We, we are in the university's week three. If somebody is ready to present, please try to share some of that information to the group. We'll have about five minutes to work in the group, just introducing yourselves very quickly in entrepreneurship. It's called the 30 second spiel or the 30 second elevator ad or elevator pitch. Take 30 seconds to introduce yourself. You may not need to introduce your dog's name or the, the favorite sh pair of shoes that you have or whatever, try to focus on the idea of what your future specialist, your future success will be and describe yourself connected to 
what you want to do in the future and how you want to get there and how you might be able to use a class project to get there. So, uh, Lee Jiun, how are you today? Okay, uh, I think you just fixed. Can you say that again? I think you just, yes, wow. Well, whatever you did, you just fixed my computer. <laughs> Audio, thanks. Um, so you're good. Are you aware of what uh, I am going to do to your class soon? You told us that you are going to send us to a breakout room and we have to introduce about ourselves like simply in 30 seconds about our future goals or about ourselves. Right. That's the easy part. And the other challenging part is you may be in a group of uh, five or more people. You should identify who's going to be first to present your group project and who might be second to present your group project. So start talking about how much of that stuff you're done. And hopefully we'll have several people volunteering to present your group project today before the end of class. Is that clear? Um, Jung, you done? Yes, Professor. Okay. And uh, Kim Jisoo, are you going to be one of the guys that's going to volunteer to present your group project first? Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you have to present for your group project this week, ideally, or if you want extra time next week? What do does everyone need to present for your group project? Yi chang can you tell me? Professor. Um, just saying yes, professor, is not what you're supposed to say for your group project. What are you supposed to do for your group project this week? Oh, this week? Yes. This is the third week of university. So in the third week, our schedule says to do what? When you make an introduction, uh, let me just show what you're supposed to be talking about. This. So when you introduce your group project, the ideal for an introduction, what is important for it is why your topic is important. Not just important to you, but why should it be important to the world? So introduce that, why the topic is important and what your specific topic is. Don't generalize. Understand that if we uh, video record this and you're going out in YouTube to billions of people, if you're just saying, I like uh, business, you're going to have billions of other people doing the same thing. So uh, identify specifically what you're talking about and what you might do in your research project, in your class term project to become more of a specialist. And then uh, it's not the full background of the study because that would be here. Background literature is talked about in week five. But here, you should be talking about the background of the importance. Why should anybody else care about your project? So that's what we will be talking about. And all of this information, it could come from your mind. You could just talk about what you love and what you want to specialize in and why you want to do a project on, on something specifically. But it is always best to reference uh, other people, start networking with other researchers and use their information, um, give respect to them. So eventually other people will give respect to you. So that's what we should be talking about. Is that clear? Um, how about uh, Kim Sohyun? Any questions before I put you into a group? Oh, no purpose, sir. So what are you going to do for the next three minutes? Next three minutes? Yes. I'm going to put you in a group. What will you do for the next three minutes? Mm, I think <laughs> I have to consider. <laughs> uh, okay, what about Yi Chang Hyun? What are you going to do for the next three minutes? Every student in class has to do it. Um, introduce ourselves and talk about uh, group projects. Great. And when you're talking about introducing yourselves, what aspect of that will you talk about? MBTI. Uh, oh. MBTI, if, if you know your MBTI, great. 
but some people don't know that yet. If you do know your MBTI, great, definitely talk about it. But try to introduce yourself as a specialist or at least growing towards your dreams, your hopes and dreams. Because this week, I would like you guys to go uh, forward and start identifying where you are now, what are your dreams going forward, and get other people to give you some suggestions. Who are some alumni you can talk to to get an introduction to people that are closer to the company or executives that are more successful that might be able to introduce you to the company um, or some activities you could do to develop yourself to get closer to your dream goals. All of these things are on slide four of the uh, class requirements. And again, all of this is in week one, the PPT, there's two PPT. One is the class requirements and it shows those long-term plans and the uh, group one information is here and group two, sorry, the week two information is also here. So all of you, it would be a good idea if you have your week to um, PPT open so that you know you can talk about this and talk about what you need to do to uh, develop what you need to start practicing and try to start identifying your MBTI. If there's no more questions, I'm going to start putting you into groups right now. If you have questions, please speak up now. Identifying yourself with the mind maps, with the humanmetrics.com or 16personalities.com. Uh, after you identify this MBTI, then you can identify your goals and how the more you practice, the easier it will be to become very successful like these guys. And the more you practice and develop your specialization in uh, slide, uh, if I just zoom in a little bit more, the idea that um, slide 11 shows that if you have your project and you start developing yourself now, you can have relationships and networks, connections with companies so that employment in the future is much easier. You don't just wait with thousands of students to get jobs after you graduate. And if you were look at the big picture, everything you do is climbing these steps to get to your success and your goals and even the class projects. Your class projects should be thought of as a way to get closer to your success and your dream goals by interacting or researching and studying your employers, the potential employers, and put that into your resume to build your resume and your CV. And even better, if you see how other people around you, global citizen, about 8 billion people around, what are other people doing related to you? What are other activities that are going on around you that you can interact with? What are other people that might be connected with your dream, or go dream goals? And there's the multinational companies that could give you pay to do class projects. So um, we were talking about how to um, get into groups, talk about who you are. That's done. Started to talk about your personality type Great, that's done. Your dreams and goals uh, for your 10 or 20 year plan, how you can get there is your class project. So now I'm going to put you back into uh, groups in a minute. Everyone needs to be able to start introducing yourselves, not just as a personal introduction, but as a specialist. What is your specialty research project? So introduce your, your research project which is this week three, introduce your, your research project, your specialization of details. Um, you can do that by identifying uh, articles. You know, your homework this week is find some articles that you love that talk about your future. And then your project, your research project should replicate that same style and same format and just change some of the details to make it better for you. Here is one example. And this list in red here are more examples that you can use. Great topics to consider are listed here. How you can find articles listed in the university website, it's listed here. Uh, most of you should be aware of how to find reliable research articles in the library. Uh, the best ones are considered Scopus articles. You can uh, find that information here. 
and then start developing all class long, all semester long, you should make your whole project with your abstract introduction, background literature, methods, results, conclusion, and references. But now we're just starting with the introduction, showing what is your specialization and why is that important? Write that introduction. Um, again, why it's important. Don't be general. Uh, what are you going to do to try to make a better project and reference everything? Uh, here is an example of what is the problem. Uh, Duong, would you like to read some of this? References from these people? Uh, yes. So when we when you write the introduction, so you also need to cite when uh, the way you get the information. So for example, here, so the Webster. So if you got the information from the paper of uh, Webster, nineteen ninety two. So in the text, so you should uh, cite uh, the name of the author and uh, the year of the paper uh, published. For example, Webster and bracket, 1992 and bracket. And you add the information, maybe you can uh, summarize the information which you get from the paper. This, yes, this is an example of an introduction in a good, reliable research article. It's good to identify other people have started to do work in this area. You want to do more. Other people have uh, researched one company or one country. You want to do something different. Uh, that would be good. Be as specific as possible. Uh, reference, as Duong says very, very well, you have to have the author and the year in almost every slide where you're talking about other details and at the end of your paper, uh, as we said this, and show these um, reliable details. If you are reliable, it's much better. So we have about uh, 18 to 20 minutes left of class. I want to, again, put you guys into a group one more time. Excuse me, Professor. So before yes. going back to the, uh, the breakout room, so I got one question from the student. Uh, so she asked whether uh, the student can use the same paper in the last semester? Absolutely. You, you can use that information. You should use your information. That shows that you had quality stuff. But if it's the exact same, you guys should all be aware of Turnitin and Grammarly. Those software programs will check if it's the exact same. And if it is, then you have a big problem. You must reference those details. But use some new wording. You can quote some of the same sentences, but put quotes around it and say where it came from. Does that answer the question? Uh, uh, I think that question is from uh, Kim jae Yong. So Kim jae Yong. Okay, so you can the answer for the questions. You can reference anything in the world, period. The more you reference, the better. You can reference your own stuff too, but if you are doing your own stuff, you have to be careful that the turn it in doesn't identifying it as copying. That's it. So, so everybody needs to go through the introduction, why your specialization topic is important for you. Forget about the group for right now. Just talk about what you want to specialize in as a global citizen. And how can you become a unique global citizen so that the world is going to uh, identify you and you will get your success. So, Quan, Taesun, can you tell me in 10 seconds or less, when I put you in a new group room, what are you going to do? Miss mm. Quan, are you there? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me what I was just saying? What do you have to talk about in this next breakout room activity? Mm. 10 years plan. A uh, part of your 10 year plan, yes. But beyond your 10 year plan, you need to talk about what specialization you are developing. Uh, and also, so I think the group one also would love to present the weekly uh, topic today. So uh, maybe so we can spend like at least five minutes before the class start finish. So the group one can present uh, the... Right. Uh, many, many people, many groups should start presenting today. But before we get into that, I just want to get everybody in the class all prepared. Uh, Jun, Hidin, can you repeat to me, what are you going to do 
this next group breakout room activity? Um, we introduced uh, uh, our group pro project. Um, what if your group didn't start? Um, then we um, explain a uh, subject that we interested in. Good, good. And be as specific as possible, right? Um, most of you don't have references ready yet. That's okay. For homework this week, you should find some references. Find some articles that help you. Hopefully, it also helps your group. But start developing these details. Um, Kim Sohyun, uh, what about you? What is your group project? What is your group going to talk about? Can you add something to what the last student just said? Yes, oh, but we had to discuss our subject with our team members. So if you try to do that in the next group, you're going to lose 15 marks <laughs> in the oh. next in the next three minutes. In the next three minutes, you talk. If your group is ready, you talk about the group work. If your group is not ready, what do you do? It prepares materials and contact with them in the breakout room now ready to talk now you don't have time to prepare more materials you need to start practicing introducing your topic now just say anything you can lie to your group you can say anything to your group you must say what is your topic and why is it important and what you're going to research Specifically, okay. Yes. Uh, Ida Young, uh, any questions from you? I don't have any questions. E Joseph, Joseph Lee, any questions from you? Oh no, sir. I think I'm and, ready. Uh, Kim Hyuk, any questions from you guys? No. Okay. Three more minutes, and then we're going to come back, and your groups are going to be presenting for those 15 marks. Good luck, guys. Three minutes. Hello again, all. So while we get other people ready to uh, join, Dong, you can just start reading uh, groups of people. If we have volunteers, great. They can start going and getting those 15 marks. Did you already identify a group that is ready to present? Uh, I, think, I think we are waiting for some other uh, group members coming back here. Nope, we're starting now because class is going to be finished soon. Uh, okay, so so group two, Jishu Kim, can you uh, introduce about the group's the research project? Um, well, you have um, two to three minutes to yeah. to present. We're going to have two more groups present now. Um, like, I'm very interested in um sports so so more did um just like i want to um contribute on developing the korean sports in infrastructure like so we can get a, we can compete more um well on the like um big competition like Olympics, so um, it's not really um, perfect, but um, yeah. So I, I know, I heard that you're going to do something related to sports marketing. Yeah. O okay. Um, that's supposed to be out of 15 marks. Okay. Is there another group that's ready to volunteer to try to get your 15 marks. Five minutes left of class. If you don't present in group uh, in this week, it's going to be hard to get maximum points. If you want top points, you should be trying to present something now, even if your group project changes. Um, I will try. Okay. Um, we, our group topic is, is Iceland gender pay gap success. Can the same happen in East Asia? Because in this small country with a population of three, three, uh, 30, 33 billion tens of thousands of women that protest to realize wage equality between men and women. So 
Iceland is a country where chains often occur when protests are heard. And in Iceland, a law was enforced that mandates or employers to prove that there is no wage discrimination between men and women. So it was half a century ago that the Gender Equality Wage Act was enacted in Iceland. Nevertheless, the new law came out because of the idea that the gap will never be completely narrowed without more intense enforcement of the law. And until this law are revised, East Asia must also learn how to eliminate obstacles and find solutions. That's our introduction and why topic is important. Good, great. Thank you. That was a very good job. I will be giving you very good marks for that group. Um, is there another group that wants to try to present? Uh, Professor, can I present? Uh, you, yes, you can. I, I think I want to do, um, analyze Chinese people's SNS using habits because China is emerging country also. And when I know uh, and SNS is um, first, um, one way to communicate. And if I know that I think I can develop my business more easily and it will be useful. Uh, okay. So, so far, your presentation is uh, good. You're talking about Chinese social um, networking details, but there are many in, Korea, in China and in almost every country. Uh, for your project, try to be as specific as possible. So that's a good start. Anybody else want to try to get some points today? Yes, here. So, yeah, this is Chang and Lee. Um, so my group... Recently, many high-end brands have shown the eco-friendly materials, such as like Echo Leather, it at 21 FW fashion shows. So we decided to investigate this and announce the importance of the eco-friendly materials, which can be benefitable to many companies. Therefore, I would like to conduct research. I no, we would like to conduct research and successfully complete the presentation through various stages, materials, and questionnaire methods. Thank you. Uh, did you identify which product specifically, which country, uh, some of those details? Um, so this is about the fashion brands. So like we can't... Uh, specifically say that which country. Uh, how you do marketing in Korea is very different than how you do marketing in France, for example. Um, oh, that's true. But uh, like, I just wanted to talk about the um, eco-friendly materials that nowadays many brands are like showing at the fashion shows. Okay, great. Um, so we're finished for today's class. I want to make sure that everybody is aware that this is worth 15 marks. Next class, make sure you hand in one page written with these details. The Im Min Gyu, you had a, a good presentation. If you, if you hand in anything showing an example of an article that you love, so start showing some references, you'd get close to perfect. So make sure people start doing that. Any questions before we finish for today? No? <laughs> you guys are really quiet. Uh, okay. I thought that group, uh, I thought that group one, Jiu and Lee, right? So you uh, mentioned that the group uh, want to present the weekly topic. Uh, yeah, actually, because uh, our group thought it was week two. And in our group, we were meant to present about the week two topic in class. So we had actually prepared a weekly presentation, but the time is up, so. Thank you very much for talking about that. Every single one of you, you guys are starting to realize that time goes really fast. Pretty soon you're gonna be old and gray hair like me fast. You must manage yourselves. You must start developing 
your specialization immediately. If you just wait, class is going to be gone and you're not going to get benefit from it. Uh, some of you think university is long-term planning. It is not. University is going to be finished in a blink of an eye. You should be thinking of longer term plans, 10 to 20 years, but much more important, you need to be proactive. You need to start managing this. If you have something, share that. Uh, e. Jung, I saw that you are very proactive in the actual group, so you have marks for that. Uh, please share with the class those details. Do you know how you could do that? Has anybody figured out how you can share with the class everything that you have just developed for your presentation? EGN, do you know where in Facebook? Yeah. No? Uh, where do you look for all information related to class? Uh, it's in the Excel file that you have sent us. Right. And right underneath that link for GC outline is my name. And then right underneath that, there's the class Facebook page. If you post that, you will have the points for presenting in today's class. So just post your PPT in that Facebook group. Is that clear? So we just have to post the PPT for the weekly presentation we have prepared? Yes. Next week, if students are quiet, if students are going slow, we might have time to talk about it. But all you need to do for today is just post into the Facebook group. But everyone here, if you want those maximum 15 marks, this week, hand in one page written introduction. Good luck, guys.